Hey guys, and welcome back. It is the weekend. I was not able to, or I forgot to, um, close the video out on Friday. If you can hear, I've got my teacher voice going. Um, I have not used my talking voice like this all summer, so the first couple days of school, you know, you just kind of lose your voice a little bit. But um, So it's the weekend, and I am planning, unless I'm planning, I use planboard.com. Um, so just to show you a little bit of what I'm doing, like I said, I'm not actually starting anything curriculum until Wednesday. So right now, all of my lessons are pretty much in the morning meeting so that they're a place in there. And really all that's in there is just my morning meeting. Um, otherwise, I have my lesson plans still written out. And we're not required to put them in until we start um with the curriculum so i'm starting with the curriculum on wednesday morning i have not yet added i guess i can show you how to add my morning meeting so when i add my morning meeting the first <clears throat> first thing that i do is add my unit and it's a little bit um weird on here <laughs> i brought my computer home but i left my charger of course. And so for morning meeting, I start by, I always start by adding my standards. We're in cluster one for morning meeting. And morning meetings deal with speaking, with speaking standards. So for this one, it's demonstrate command of the conventions of, um, standard English grammar and usage when speaking. So I add that when that is definitely a part of the morning message or the morning meeting. Um, but that's, pr that's pretty much it for unit, for unit one. So then we add that or, or on day three morning meeting. <clears throat> but I do have to go and fix it before I save it. Okay third day of school uh oh see everything's dying um i have to change that because they had this one already i wanted to give them an easy one they all share a teeth so where i find my brain teasers okay so i find my brain boosters for my morning work on discoveryeducation.com slash brain boosters and I just start right at the top, categorization in common, and then I go <clears throat> all the way through. And page by page, I mean, there is just like great things that you can put for your morning message to get your students to think. And thankfully, it gives you the answers. <laughs> so I am going to, uh oh. I'm going to copy and paste and in common we've already done A we've done C we're going to do A what is a potato a hurricane and a target have in common can you guess <laughs> so all I do is simply copy it Oops. and paste it into my Word document. And there you go. I now have my morning message. For the activity, we were supposed to, you can see my puppy here all over. We were supposed to do four corners, but my room is so tight, I just don't have the time. And it's actually going to be, I believe, August 14th today's date yes August 14th save it make sure that we are morning meeting day three okay and that should do it and so then when my CRT checks I have everything that's in there I have everything in there save it okay hold on one second and I'll be right back to show you how I'm going to plan my reading 
Okay, so the computer's charging and we're back on board. So I don't look at the day view. I like to look at the whole week. There's a week, a month, or a unit. I like to look at the whole week. All right. And like I said, I'm starting curriculum on Wednesday. So again, I start by adding the unit, unit one, week one. And then it tells you to write a title for this lesson, and I just call it the same thing, unit one, week one. From there, I go down to the bottom, and I add my standards. It gives you all the standards that you'll need, whether you're going to pull them from Common Core, wherever you're going to pull them from, okay? I've pulled the four standards that I'm going to be teaching. After I pull my standards, right here, unit content. Okay, and it gives you everything that you need to know. The why behind the what. And then there, you can add it to your lesson plan if you think that this is something this week that you're going to be doing. The why behind the what, I usually add to the first week only because it usually goes throughout the whole unit. The capstone, I usually add um, to all of them so that I can keep in mind what we're going towards in the end. Evidence of learning I add. Okay, and for this unit, this is the evidence of learning that the students will need to do. Okay. Of course, you add the essential question. I do not add <clears throat> the developmental, excuse me, because it's a lot. I do look at them to see the steps I need to take. What do I need to do first? And by mastery, what can they do? Mastery is three. Four is above. Okay, so I do look at them for each standard that I'm teaching this week. I do also I also add the vocabulary to the bottom. I do not add the text resources. Normally there's something in here, but this one is none. And I do look at the online resources and I use those quite a bit. Okay. But I don't add them in. I don't add it like this, such as I'll go to that link, open the link and then copy and paste the parts that I'm using. All right, so as I said, these are the components that I added. My guided question, then I take this straight from here and put it directly onto my board. Um, these are the four standards that I'm teaching it, that I'm teaching this week. It's hard to look. So we're doing details inferences using details for inferences main idea so we're looking at details a lot and I'm pulling I'm pull, of course you know to pull apart the standard we're not going to do some oops summarize the text that's not fully taught right now so it's part and part of the standards breaking the standards down so if you can kind of see what I'm going towards this week we're going to be looking at details we're going to be drawing inferences from those details we're going to be trying to come up with a main idea from those details we're going to be describing the characters and the setting we're going to be really looking at detail we're going to be pulling apart text this week um, and that's how we're going to be doing it. We're going to be annotating some t performance tasks. 
the capstone, as I said. And then here is where your um, your do now, your mini lessons, and independent work. And then your homework, or I'll show you my groups. They have no names yet because I have not grouped my students yet. But I do know the activity that they're doing. And for some reason, it just won't let me add a fifth group. So, orange and yellow. Daily rotation for my centers. And I went into detail with what they're doing each day. My centers, again, as I said before, 30 minutes. And I do link everything um, that they're doing. So when they're on the computer that day, they want to just get familiar with the programs. And again, um, it wouldn't let me add another station. So um, I have five stations. The fifth station is me. So I only have to note four stations. And then I, this would be the fifth station, the teacher-led station. Um, then station three is the word work basket that I showed you guys with the things in there. And then station four is unit one, week one, answering the questions at the end of the chapter. Closure I've not put in until everything's done, home learning. And then um, accommodations. And accommodations is very important to put in there. And vocabulary. I decided, um, yeah, and why behind the what? So, that is my lesson planning so far for day one. Day one, week one. I'll be back when they're all done. All right, guys, I am back. It's actually the next day, um, and I came back to finalize my plans. So, for um, day one, unit one, week one, I had to change that because... Um, unit one is actually 10 days and not just five days. So I had to make sure that I um, noted for myself that I'm in um, part one of this, which I'll know when I get to part two. Anyway, I showed you all this yesterday and how I came with that, with those things. Those things. Um... But for the final lesson plans, um, I attached, like, everything that will be needed for the lesson plans. Um, and then, you know, gave a script because we share lesson plans. Um, and, yeah. Um, my lesson plan. <laughs> I don't know. So this is just this is just the end of the video, I guess. Just um, this went on this lesson. It ended up. So I had to step back and said, step back and plan backwards. What do I want my students to actually be able to do by the end of this five days? I like to chunk these lessons. They're ten. Um, 10 days, but I like to chunk them five by five. That way I can assess um, in between and um, step back if I need to. So I had to come up with what do I want my students to be able to do from this lesson, from these standards. And so the objective is that they'll be able to draw inferences um, by, you, by um, details from the text by giving specific details from the text. And so when I lesson plan, I try to show where the standards are actually coming in um, every chance that I get. You know, this is this standard, this is this standard. Um, but, yeah. And so in the end, I day by day, I think the lesson plans get less and less because... Um, you're doing less. So by day four, we're still doing the same thing, but now we're really um, putting our hands on 
because we've already, um, we're now really engaging and we're really um, practicing and deepening their understanding by this day. So this day we're just doing a um, round robin trash bag pick. And or trash bag sort, I guess you could say garbage bag activity is what it's actually called. Um, but yeah, so and then by day five, we are simply assessing it. Um, and we're doing an assessment the same way that we taught them on day one and day two. So um, oh, don't look at my spelling. <laughs> I know that spelling is terrible, um, but they're going to have to highlight just like they were taught on day one and day two, and they're going to be practicing day one, day two, day three, and day four, highlighting the text. So then on day five, um, expecting them to highlight the text is nothing new because this is something that we've been practicing literally all week, um, and we've been practicing it with the same... Um, P PDF worksheet all week. So when it comes to assessment, it's nothing new. It's something that we've been doing all week now, and they're just showing if they got it or not. So that is my first five days. I'm working on the last um, or the second half of the plans, and the first one we really worked on infer inferencing with um pulling details. Now we're going to work on really, um, we're still working on pulling details from text, um, but now we're working on different things about pulling details from text. Um, so I'll be working on that this week, or actually today, which I pretty, I'm pretty much ready. I pretty much know what I'm going to do for this, no, these, the actually, this is going to be four days. I pretty much know what I'm going to do for that. So, first 20 days of lesson plans are complete. I hope you are ready for back to school. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, peace.